Go Phil, we have to. Hello there, yeah, so just following on from our close-up review of the Tipman crossover, today we're going to run some air efficiency tests like we have with the other markers. We're going to see what it is cronying straight out of the box and then we're going to uh, give it a test of 500 rounds uh, through a 48 tank like we did with the others. The only difference is we're using a remote line on this just because it's easier. Um, and we'll see how we go and we'll obviously check the the air usage at the end and then uh, have 500 rounds and give it a bash. We're starting off on 3,000 PSI. Can you see that, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, just going to fire a couple of rounds straight to the box crony, just to see. I don't know if you'll be able to stand behind and see the crony at all. Probably not. Alright, let's give it a go. 280. 283. 262. 268. 262. So it's, it's not too bad, it's in this sort of range, isn't it? Well, turn the loader on and be good, wouldn't it? It would help. 265, 282, so, you know, it's in that sort of bracket. Right. So jumpy then, but... Yeah, so what we're doing now, I'll put this down, just put it on safe for a minute. Put this uh, crony down somewhere, can I hand that to you? So now we're just going to fire off his paint and then uh, see what the air efficiency is at the end. So just bit, bear with, bear with. Safety maybe? No, safety's on. No, you put the safety on, didn't you? No, just taking it off. Yes. Where's it full auto, right? All over not responding. No. For some reason, it's not working, it's all lit up. Interesting. Yeah. Load is on. And the marker's on. Let's just try flitching back to that minute. Single shot's working okay. Single. There we go. More paint. Okay, carry on with our. That was quick. More paint. Are we ready to rock? Remainder of them. Remainder. Remain here. That's it, is it? That's us. Well, yeah, let me have a look what the air is in the tank then. So you've got eyes, of course, on the crossover. Yep. Which is always good to see. So you've got a thousand, a thousand left in the tank, just over. Not too bad. Very good. So, yeah, not bad, all in all. And may I just say as well, the Tipman loader performed well up to the task as well. The SSR 200. Which we should do a review on. Afterwards. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> Just checking out, you failed to see if there's any brakes. I think we had one brake. Yeah, one brake out of 500, yeah, we did. Yeah, we had one brake. Fresh paint, sterling paint. Yeah, one brake out of 500 ain't bad though. Right. No, pretty good. Awesome. Happy with that. Rains it off, don't it? The, uh... Yeah, nice little marker, Tipman crossover, various uh, ramping modes on it. All you know in the manual, how to do it. So the control panel on the back. Great marker. Teams up well with the SSL 200 as well. If you want a budget loader, if you want a budget loader, or you can go to more expensive like your Dyer, your Spires, or your Pinocchios. Um, but it seems to do the job. It's a nice little marker. It's a very windy day, but still, it was quite good grouping wise, even on full auto. Not bad. Not really. Quite a good test. Back of that car. It certainly is. The owner won't be very happy. No, probably not. Ready, Phil? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you.